Good evening. Just in the last couple of hours, a crash in the Lowry Hill Tunnel involving a semi truck. It didn't appear to be serious and was cleaned up quickly, but as you can see, it caused quite a backup with traffic diverted to the already busy area of Hennepin and Lindale. That crash is proof of an issue that MnDOT says it's currently trying to deal with during the tunnel construction. You see, trucks are actually banned from the tunnel right now, but drivers are either not aware of that or ignoring it. In fact, we monitored the traffic through the tunnel for an hour earlier today and saw nearly 30 trucks drive through. Care 11's Jay Olstead gives us a closer look at the problem. By now, you know that metro traffic stinks. But inside the Lowry Tunnel, it's getting dangerous. MnDOT snapped these photos from Tuesday of an overhead light torn down and electrical box damaged. The culprit? It would be like an average size box truck. Big trucks and buses, too big for the new lane configuration on the eastbound lanes where all the traffic is now traveling. We have two 10 foot wide lanes with a concrete barrier in the middle and no shoulders. That's why MnDOT posted signs telling drivers of trucks heavier than 9,000 pounds to stay out, yet many are still driving in. In fact, in just a few minutes, our camera caught semi trucks barreling through the tunnel. It was an even bigger number when we monitored the traffic cams. I think sometimes uh, drivers have seen the signs, but figure it's fine for them to skirt the law. I think there are truck drivers that just aren't aware, maybe not familiar with the area. So MnDOT is reaching out to trucking organizations to help get the word out. And the state patrol has assigned troopers to the tunnel to ticket drivers who are breaking the rules. It's been a lot. We don't have any firm numbers, but we're, we're seeing it. We're hoping that getting this information out will help drivers maybe eliminate coming through this area. Just another chapter in what has already been a busy construction season. And we don't want anybody to get hurt. And as we take a live look here, you can see the traffic moving much smoother than it was just about an hour or so ago because of that accident. Meantime, they're asking truck drivers to take alternate routes around this area. There are several of them, and you can find a list at care11.com. Julie? All right. Thank you, Jay. In addition to the I-94 construction, there are a lot of other projects that will continue through the holiday, and MnDOT is asking drivers to be extra careful on the roads. This is a look at some of those construction projects that could affect your travel this weekend. In addition to safety, MnDOT recommends you plan ahead and consider alternate routes. Well, President Trump's